catastrophe on a scale never seen before, Pakistan's foreign minister assesses the flooding that swept across his country. Mission to the moon, America prepares to test launch a rocket, heralding a new era of space exploration. More Palestinians face eviction and their homes destroyed by Israel's army. The UN says it could amount to a war crime. And tributes to Roland Mesnier, the veteran White House pastry chef who served five U.S. presidents. Dutch police say the number of people killed when a truck veered off the road and rolled into a village barbecue has risen to six. Seven others are being treated in hospital. The incident happened on Saturday south of Rotterdam. Police say a 46-year-old Spanish driver was suspected of causing the accident and was not under the influence of alcohol. Australia says it's now back EU-wide cap on electricity prices as they continue to rise in line with soaring gas prices. Austria is heavily dependent on Russian gas, but most of its electricity comes from renewables. Austrian Chancellor Karl Nehammer says that the EU must not allow President Putin to determine its electricity price every day. Now, I want to tell you now about NASA, which is preparing to launch its new mega rocket that will return to the moon for the first time in 50 years. It's due to lift off Monday afternoon from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. This is the first time of the Artemis missions. And if it's successful, it will pave the way for humans to return to the lunar surface. And Brazil's right-wing president, Jair Bolsonaro, is one of six candidates taking part in an election debate. Among his opponents, his biggest rival, the former leftist leader, Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva. Opinion polls suggest Mr. Lula is leading the race with 47% of the vote, compared with Mr. Bolsonaro, who would have around 30%.